In the past two years I've noticed that remastered games have been popping up like mushrooms after rain. Personally I find that to be a waste because the remasters usually are not substantial enough for me to actually see the point of paying for those games again. Think about Skyrim for example, you can still achieve much better visuals by simply installing mods on your older version and those mods don't even cost money. Still there are a few remasters which I consider proper. Those are the ones that offer a real overhaul of the game's visuals and audio. So when I heard that Age of Empires is being remastered I was hoping for a good result and am glad to say that I was not disappointed. The game looks and sounds familiar yet significantly better in every conceivable way. Let's start with the visuals. Those have been reworked from the ground up. Clearly a lot of work was put into the graphics which are now high resolution and feature a lot of details. The game looks gorgeous, you can now zoom really far out or really close forward and if your PC has 16GB of RAM you can activate the 4x zoom details which will allow you to zoom in really closely and see a ton of details you've never expected. The graphics blew me away and definitely justify the 17GB of space which the game now takes up on your hard drive. What I find especially cool is the fact that we still have LAN multiplayer. I'm a huge fan of it and I still use it all the time in my home and with friends. There's nothing like a good old fashioned LAN party. It's a simple feature and so many people love it. It should be available in any game if you ask me. I really appreciate seeing it here. However, the improvements don't just end there. The sound was re-recorded as well. From the units to the music, everything is new and sounds excellent. Especially the fact that some of the ambient music now features quiet female vocals was something that I really enjoyed. Age of Empires has always had a nice soundtrack and now it's even better. Small gameplay tweaks have also been made to improve the overall gameplay and feeling, but I am sad to say that while the developers claim they have improved things such as pathfinding, it's pretty much as bad as it's always been. Your units have no idea what they're doing most of the time, the groups split in ridiculous ways, slow down as they're supposed to chase an enemy archer and therefore take more damage and get stuck all the time. Control over your units is still a problem and requires careful micromanagement, or you risk losing units to the bad pathfinding or them simply getting stuck somewhere. It would seem that the enemy AI has also been tweaked and sadly changed for the worst. If you play the game on the easiest setting, some of the enemies will simply stop developing and get stuck in the first age. If you increase the difficulty by just one increment, the enemy is on steroids and you get rushed by all enemies at once. Before you assume I suck at the game, I want to assure you that I have been beating 5 AI opponents on the highest difficulties in the past version of the game. Now I play with my girlfriend against 5 opponents on moderate difficulty, which is the second easiest setting, and 3 out of 4 games we get rushed by the AI super early and they manage to wipe us out. What's funny is that I set the game so that the AI opponents are all enemies to each other, yet they still work together against us from the start. Occasionally they will attack each other while invading our bases, but those are rare and short sessions. If you take a look at their bases, you will quickly notice that they are not attacking each other at all. This behavior makes the game way too hard and feels very unfair. I have read that this is something many people have a problem with, it's not just us. Interestingly enough, if they wipe your base once and you manage to re-establish a new base somewhere else, the computer seems to forget about you and you may build up your army and destroy them afterwards without any issues. It seems that a lot of people have problems running the game in general as well. You will notice that a wave of negative reviews on the Microsoft Store has been coming to fruition here and people are declaring that the game is broken and non-working after just a few days of playing. This is all related to the DRM and unfortunately it really screws with people's accounts. Personally I was lucky and had no such issues whatsoever, but I can't simply ignore it either. Yet another instance of DRM hurting the paying customer and that seems very unfair to me. The price of the game is more than fair on the other end, usually you can find it around the price of 20 bucks on your Microsoft store, but there is a hidden tip from me that I want to give you. I bought two copies of the game for each 9 euro and I got it off the Brazilian Microsoft store. So if you go there even at the moment of this review being published, I just checked, it still is 9 euro per piece. It's actually sold in their local currency which which is called Real. You don't even need a proxy or anything. It's an awesome price. 
simply buy some coupons for that store and use them there in order to purchase the game and it's gonna work just fine that's how it worked for me and for my girlfriend and basically I got two copies of the game for the price of a single one because I used the Brazilian store which is just a great deal the game features the main game and the expansion rise of Rome that means that you can enjoy all the campaigns and additional content such as units upgrades etc Age of Empires remains one of the best real-time strategy games ever made and its first alteration was was, in my opinion the best. Seeing it in high definition with new music was a real treat for me and I can easily say that this is without a doubt a game worthy of the name Definitive Edition. If you are a fan of a real-time strategy game genre and own a PC with Windows 10, let's not forget that Windows 10 is compulsory here, you must have it in order to play this, then you owe it to yourself to play this game. And now that I have shared with you the secret of getting the game super cheap, don't let me take any more of your free time, I understand that you probably want to go and play some Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Thank you for watching and have a great day.